What's up, Startup Laurier? My name is Matthew Corrin, and I'm the founder and CEO of uh, the Freshy chain of restaurants. In 2005, I opened the very first Freshy location. And the first day we opened was the first day I ever worked in the restaurant business. And uh, if anybody uh, here has, has worked in the business, you'll understand that before I realized how brutal it was, I was literally elbow deep in produce. In my, in my first month, I was robbed twice by employees. The next month, my kitchen manager sliced most of his thumb off uh, prepping for breakfast, and the other kitchen manager fainted from the sight of the blood, fell flat on his face, broke his nose, and started having a seizure. They were both carried away on stretchers at 6.30 in the morning. The next month, we had a very underwhelming food review in the local newspaper in Toronto. And the month after that, a customer came in with her lawyer because she found a very small bug in her salad and wanted $10,000 or she was going to go to the press. I called it protein and asked her to go away. Anyway, the month after that, it got worse. The month after that, it got even worse. And so I did what any young, naive entrepreneur would do. I opened a second location. And two locations in 2005 grew to 10, grew to 20, grew to 50, which has grown, grown now to over 250 locations in 80 cities and 20 countries around the world. And this year, in 2016, we'll double again and touch 400 restaurants. Now, I got very lucky because I was able to convince back in 2005, a dentist and a nurse, i.e. my mom and dad, to give me enough money to open up the very first Freshy location. And so I never needed, I never had to write a business plan. And in lieu of a business plan, I sort of stepped back and said, what are the things that are really important uh, to me philosophically in business? And, and I wrote five guiding principles that I would lead this team by. And these guiding principles are the same five things that I started with in 2005 that uh, we still adhere to today uh, through the entire Freshy organization. I want to just spend two minutes telling you these good guiding principles. Guiding principle number one is that talk is cheap, execution sets you apart. It's really easy to sit in a boardroom talking about doing something. It's really easy to let a day, a week, a month, a year go by talking about an initiative. Those who execute are those who move the company forward. And I actually don't think you always have to be right in execution. Sometimes it's okay to be wrong, but the execution is what drives the business. And so talk is cheap, it's execution that sets you apart. The second guiding principle is to launch fast, fail fast, and iterate even faster. Launching slowly is very expensive. Failing slowly is even more expensive. And if you're not iterating fast enough, some other brand behind you is gonna beat you to the, beat you to the punch. And so launch fast, fail fast, iterate faster is really taken from a technology uh, uh, startup mentality and applied to the bricks and mortar uh, brand that we operate today at Freshing. The third guiding principle is to build a company with a killer culture, not a culture that kills the company. And, and it's impossible to know the value of what a killer culture can add to your brand, but believe me when I say when you have a culture that's killing your company, it's incredibly painful and it goes really quickly. Uh, and, so, and so building a company with a killer culture where the team just really you know, jives and works together and, and feels incredibly loyal to one another uh, can add literally millions and millions of dollars of value creation to your business. The fourth guiding principle is numbers rule, full stop, exclamation mark. And, and as a founder who, who failed business class, did a three-year bachelor's degree and then only had one job in the fashion business in New York City before starting Freshy, I was anything but comfortable with numbers. But we've become maniacal about data. Our philosophy is if you don't measure it, you can't manage it. And so numbers rule in any organization. And, and every week we try to add a new data point that we can measure to drive the company to even greater levels. The fifth and final guiding principle is to pick your battles. And this is even especially relevant uh, for us young entrepreneurs because Young entrepreneurs know, need to know when to fight for something they believe in. We also need to know when to roll over and, and sort of just say, hey, thanks very much, appreciate your feedback, and I'm just going to let it be. And uh, some great examples of picking our battles is you know, a, an open letter that I wrote to the CEO of McDonald's where I challenged him publicly to put a freshie in any McDonald's in the world, and I guaranteed a, a certain amount of growth or their money back. 
Uh, but in other examples, you know, I was trying to do a business deal with a, a big brand in the US and it, it never happened. And when I saw the CEO a few months later, I said, you know, why didn't we make that deal happen? And his response to me was because you were too difficult to deal with. And so you really need to learn when to pick your battles and which battles to pick and which battles to sort of pass. And so I hope these five guiding principles are, are, are ones that you can apply to your own business. Uh, to me, they're totally universal. They've worked really well for Freshy. They've obviously led to Freshy being one of the fastest growing restaurant companies in history. We opened our first 100 restaurants in nine years, which is faster than Starbucks, faster than McDonald's, faster than Subway. But for us, it's just a start. You know, we, we are aspiring to build a global, iconic brand. Uh, there are 50,000 Subway restaurants around the world. We don't even have 400 yet. Uh, and so uh, uh, stay tuned. Uh, my commitment is we'll continue to work hard to drive the mission of making healthy eating more convenient and more affordable uh, through the Freshy brand. Uh, and, and I look forward to seeing what you guys all bring uh, to the world as you build your own businesses. Uh, I'll leave you with uh, just a request to visit our uh, Freshy restaurants. One is just, uh, just off campus and we've got a second one opening in Waterloo in the spring. Uh, so I wish you luck this weekend. Thank you so much for your time and uh, Freshy out.